All right, here it is. I said I was going to do it. Make the video on the new, newer, or new to me pickup truck. I got a uh, Chevy Silverado 2500 HD. I went from a, uh, a red 1500, uh, that was a 2000. This is five years newer. Still, uh, still a 10 year old truck, but um, I had six, it had 60,000 miles on when I bought it. One owner, an older guy owned it. Um, so far, so good. I've had it for three months. Uh, I really don't miss the uh, red truck. It was time, time to move on. Time to, uh, time to do something different. Um, the biggest thing is, like I said, uh, if you watch any of my other videos, I needed the four door. I wanted the four door for the uh, baby seat, uh, just more room, and um, uh, leather's nice. Yeah, the more room, that's basically what I wanted the four door for. But it's um, it's an LT, I think, the little trim line. Yeah, LT. So it's got the leather captain's chairs, heated seats. Um, Center console, push button, four wheel drive. I kind of missed the old. On my old truck, I had the um, the four wheel drive on the floor, which was nice. But uh, push button's nice. We'll see how it works this winter. I used it a handful of times already just to make sure it's still working. And obviously, when I bought it, I made I made sure it worked. So, but uh, I haven't done too much upgrading to it yet. I, I, I took my tow mirrors off my uh, red truck. I didn't do a video on those. Um, on my last uh, video on my red truck, but I ended up getting those tow mirrors, and I had the uh, factory ones on there with the blinkers in the uh, glass. I really don't care for them, but now I guess the new style too, they're on the outside, kind of like the Fords and the Dodge do. Finally, Chevy listened to the listened to the people, and they did it the right way. Because I didn't like the blinkers in the glass because uh, it almost uh, it draw it drew my attention when my blinker was on, and I didn't care for that. But anyways, enough babbling. I um, <clears throat> on that anyways. But I got uh, these uh, aftermarket rims. They're made by Ultra Wheels. They're called Crusher. If you're gonna look into aftermarket wheels, and I wrapped those in the new BFG All Terrains KO2s. Um, I've I've had three sets, no four sets of All Terrains. This is my first set of the KO2s. Um, maybe got I don't know. What is it on there? I don't know. Maybe 3,000 miles on them. Yeah, if that. Maybe, yeah, an oil change. Um, love them so far. You can't really hear them, which is good. Um, well, you can't really hear them over my exhaust. I ended up putting an exhaust on it as well. The running boards came with it. I'm actually ordering some... Uh, I have some fog lights that I'm going to put on the front, but I need, I'm need. i getting a bull bar that's in the mail. Um, I actually ordered it from Rough Country. Um, I put... Um, what do I have in there? From suspension connection, I have a uh, uh, blocks in the back, and I did the keys, and I had it lined. Um, so it's an inch in the back and two inches up front to level the truck. I'm not doing the six-inch lift kit. I'm not doing any of that. I did it once. I got it out of my system. Yeah, it's nice, but I, I used to eat up CV joints, universal um, drive shaft U-joints. Um, I, I'd, I'd eat up, oh, um, wheel hub assemblies on the front end uh, for Moog. I'd even buy the good stuff Moog, and I'd eat through those, I don't know, maybe a year and a half I'd get out of them. Um, I kept my toolbox and I kept my back rack that I bought for the red truck. I, uh, the back rack I could have done without, but I do like the way it looks and I actually do use it. Um, I could put a ladder on the back of the back rack and then put it on the edge of the tailgate and, um, you can carry a 20, 30 foot ladder, you know, put a little, uh, red, uh, rag at the end of it like you, you're supposed to, but I needed the toolbox for work. Uh, like I said, I, I tools, <clears throat> oils and stuff I use out of there. Not as much as I used to at this new job, but uh, it's kind of like a force of habit. It's like having a trunk. Even though I got the four door, it's like having a trunk. So, um, yeah, the Ultra Wheels, BFGs. I got the exhaust, almost similar to the other one, but this is a three inch all the way out back, and it's true duals. I went with two, um, two, uh, I don't know what they call it. It's their house brand. You see those things. They're, they're, they actually weld them together. Um, they're S and S 409s. They're kind of like a 40 series um, of uh, f from uh, Flowmaster. Sorry about that. Um, and it's nice. It comes up underneath there. Tucks it up underneath there. Got the tips. Come out the side. I got them rolled. I wasn't gonna give it a bath, but eh, tomorrow maybe Sunday. Um, I uh, undercoated the frame. <laughs> I got to do the inside of the frame. I did the whole thing all the way down, all the way out back. Um, came with the spray and bed liner, which is nice. 
from Rhino. What is it? Rhino? Uh, yeah, Rhino Linings. Uh, that was out of Merrimack. Yeah, this truck was born and raised in my uh, <clears throat> in my uh, my part of the country, which is uh, nice to hear because uh, having the one owner, it wasn't shipped from like Colorado or something or down south, out west, none of that stuff. Didn't have to worry about it. So, hit the windows tinted, match the front. Um, like the other truck, it's almost similar to the other truck, but it's white. Uh, I like I like the tint. Did the uh, windshield strip and the uh, side glass. Um, yeah, the biggest thing was the 2500. I, I wanted that for towing that. Um, you guys let me know in this video if you guys want me to do a little tour on the boat. I've had that now three years. That's my, um, geez, my fifth boat. Yeah, I think it's my fifth boat. I love the water. Uh, that's a glass tron. Uh, if you guys want, if you guys want me to, leave it in the comments. I'll do a video on that. I'll, I'll walk you through that and show you the motor and, the uh the boat itself and everything so it's good it's a good uh good boat but um <clears throat> yeah i got a bull bar coming from rough country which uh the only thing i don't like and i'm gonna i, I didn't you you don't use them much but the uh, tow hooks you gotta remove them i know anybody that does put bull bars or brush guards or that matter they uh you lose your uh tow hooks i'm gonna try to fabricate some brackets and try to drop them um down below the air dam but i don't know if that's going to look shitty or not so eh, i'll see i'll see what happens i'll see what it looks like but i'm going with a black bull bar uh last truck was all chrome diamond plate i'm going black and white break it up and i painted the uh the bow tie it's got a bug on it that time of the season but um all right guys that's it that's the truck um right, i'll do an update video when i get the uh, bull bar on and the uh fog lights but until um, then, I'll, uh, I'll see you.